noticed you're uh, traveling light these days. Yeah, I um, ran into some trouble on the way here. Lost a lot of my gear. So the old ones painted their faces with something called makeup, like the Karcha. Why? Yeah, it beats me. It probably meant something to them, as it does to my people and the Tanakh. I just think my face says it all as is, that's all. That it does. It's good to see you and Zoe enjoying yourselves. We're learning a lot. I've actually been looking through the data to find ideas for a gift, and to thank her for helping me study the glyphs. Something from the old world that she's never seen before. Instead, I found out they gave each other stuffed animals. If you ask me, stuffing a dead animal with anything, really, doesn't sound like a good time for anybody. Maybe Gaia can help you find something else. How's everyone dealing with Beta? I tried explaining what a clone is to Aaron. He was totally lost. Then Zoe said something about two trees coming from one seed. That seemed to help a bit. Looks like things between you and Zoe are better now. I suffered through a few hours of glaring silence. Then she seemed to move on. Sort of. How do people do this? How do I know if the next thing I say won't blow up in my face? What if an apology is not enough next time? You give her a stuffed animal? You're the worst. You know that? What makes you think I know anything about any of this? You're on your own. Abandoning me again, huh? Well, if she kills me next time, it's on you. Anything interesting happened while I was away? I found an acceptable place to practice with my blade. Oh. And where's that? Outside. Above the base. There's a nest of sunwings that are always up for a fight. Ever thought of sparring with something that's not trying to kill you? That would defeat the purpose of the training. Anything else you've been looking at with that focus? Gaia showed me the... knowledge you recovered out in the desert. I am no chaplain, but... I'd be curious to test if something I read is true. What is it? The Old Ones believed one could hear the great waters, even in the middle of the desert, if you carried the carcass of a water animal with you. They called them seashells. That sounds... kind of gross. You have been looking at any interesting data? I asked Gaia to find me something to look at a while back. And she found the mother of all forges. They called it sports. Turns out the old ones spent a lot of time tackling and punching each other for points in, in one game or another. Are you mixing some solly food and fresh ale? I bet half the claim will be lining up to watch. How can everything taste like chicken? What's stopping us from taking what we want and- uh... <clears throat> Anyone else want to complain? Uh! Hey! That's right, over here, you big worm! Pizza? Apparently it tastes worse the longer it takes to be delivered. Or something like that. Maybe you can find the recipe? I think it was just flat bread with cheese and some sauce. I like it already. You were at the embassy. I was. I'm sorry about the other marshals. And their deaths will not go unpunished. <clears throat> You're still healing. I will never heal. But that won't stop me from cracking any skulls that need it. Good thing you're on my side, then. Hmm. I'm serious. There's something from the old world stuck in there, and it has a power cell. I could blow it up if I just penetrate the first layer of rock and Even metal. Even if what you're saying is true, it would take a cannon to do that. 
You're right. And you said the rebels were stripping them off machines back in the valley. Come on. No. I'm not getting dragged further into this madness. Hikaru ordered you to help me. You gonna defy him like that arrogant shit up there? That was an unkind comparison. All this data I've picked up in ancient bunkers and ruins. I guess I never really thought that other people would be looking at it. Based on my observations, your companions engage quite frequently with this material. Erend has asked on numerous occasions about birthday parties. He appears perplexed by the tradition of serving a sweet confection, as it conflicts with the Osaram tradition of serving sparkling stout ale. He also suggested we host a party for you, as a surprise. Uh, yeah, no thanks. That is what I predicted. This meal can make me stronger? Stronger, healthier, more resistant. There are all sorts of benefits depending on how I prepare it. You vary your diet, you benefit from the different properties of the food. Look at the Osaram. They drink all that beer and come out barrel-shaped. So why is it so hard to believe that food can change you in other ways? Spinning in a teacup. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Aloy, hey, she's... Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for, then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. As he is Pharaoh, you are Sobek. For an occasion, this momentous, shouldn't you wear proper business attire? Whoa. No, 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 no. No, I am not wearing that. No way. You will wear the proper attire to mark this moment. Or what? I gotta change out of these clothes. I can't believe the CEO made me play dress up. Got it. <laughs> Head rush. 